Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today I feel like uh, Captain Kirk on Star Trek and he's going, Scotty, give me more power. And Scotty is going, Captain, I've given her all she got. Well, guess what? I have no power. As you could see, the lights on my weaker battery are blinking. And that usually happens when the battery is below 90%. So you've pulled everything but 10% out. So um, I had power. And then I checked the voltage on the app and it was 50.5, which is below what my cutoff is. And then I came and changed it to voltage instead of using percentages and the system shut itself down. So that an alarm went off, a buzzer went off because this was red. Okay, my current battery is 50.6, my current battery voltage is 50.61. So before I explain, let me go back and show you what's going on. So right now we're generating 167, 166 watts. Let me show you what it looks like. out. It has been like this for four days. So we have had no real sunshine. As you could tell, the rain is falling and you can look up into the sky and there is no sun. So we've had it this way for the last four days. And you can see the ground is wet. And we have no generation. So no generation equals to no power. The refrigerator and freezer are on till about 6.30 this morning. It's a little after, it's a little to nine. And, um, well, I have no power. So this is the second time since I've had the BE where I had no power. As you can see, I'm pushing out 169, 169 watts is what I'm producing now, 170. So let me explain the first time I had no power. I changed it from voltage settings to uh, using, let me show you, on the battery settings. I use battery voltage instead of, I changed it from voltage to percentages. And it does a fairly good job of measuring percentages as long as the battery gets fully charged and discharged. Well, after day four of the battery not getting fully charged, the voltage was out of a whack. It was telling me I had 40 something percent left in the battery, which was inaccurate. When in reality, I had um, um, less than 15 percent left in the battery. So I came, I took a look, and the battery, when the battery dropped to 49.7 volts, I changed it from using battery voltage to using battery percentage, and the system started, an alarm went off. The battery um, area turned red. Let me show you. Instead of the green you see here, it turned red and the system powered itself down. Then as the battery started to charge, once it got to our threshold, it turned orange like it is here. And then now it's green. So green implies that the settings are beyond what our thresholds are. However, I set this to come back on after the battery hits 51 point some odd volts. So it's not going to come on until the battery hits 51 point point somewhat volt. So today is the second time that I've lost power using this inverter. The first time was I made a change to percentage. The inverter um, shut off at a much higher number than I anticipated because I did not know what the percentage was. So I came back and adjusted it. It was working fine until we've gone through three or four cycles where we've not fully charged the battery and whatever um, brain Whatever algorithm he has in his brain, it lost it. And it shows, showed me a much higher capacity of 40 something percent, which was widely inaccurate and widely inaccurate and not, you know, well, was wrong. So I came, I changed it back to voltage, and now the inverter is off. As soon as it hits the number, so let me show you what it, what it needs to hit before it comes back on. So he has to, for it to restart, he has to hit 51.9 volts. My low battery warning is supposed to come on at 50.5 volts. We're obviously higher than that. So as long as we're higher than that, there's not going to be a buzzer. There's not going to be a, a what do you call it? There's not going to be a yellow light in the battery area, yellow color in the battery area. And then once it goes past that, um, it goes green, which is done. So it's 50.5 or higher. So it's green right now, and as soon as um, we hit 51.9, the inverter, the loads will come back on. Right now we are 50.76, so we have a, little, a long way to go, we have another volt to go before it comes back on. 
um, we're producing 180 3 watts which is good but sucky because at this numbers we cannot put the 4.4 kilowatts with the 4.3 kilowatts we've taken out of the battery so it's going to touch and go again today but um, it's the rainy season this is expected it rains almost every day in fact it's been raining since like midnight and it's still raining right now yesterday it rained off and on off and on cloudy off and on but i was able to do six kilowatt hours yesterday even with the bad weather but it wasn't enough to fill my battery up so I average about 3,800 watt hours every night. That's what I average between my refrigerator, my fans, or my AC. So if the battery is not full, I cannot um, make it through the night without either getting the battery to start blinking or lose power. Well, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. So let me give you a quick summary before I say that. So solar does work in the rainy season, it just requires a lot of management. Now I can decide to stop being boneheaded and buy a generator, um, connect the generator input to the generator uh, portion of this, and then there are two cables that will go from here to the generator, and once we hit a certain threshold, boom, it starts the generator. Once the second threshold is hit, it turns off the generator, and I'm happy. But you know what? I want to be stubborn. I want to drag this for as long as I can and then I'll break down and get a generator, which might be the month of July because it's my birthday. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below. If you have to subscribe, please click the subscribe icon. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.